Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Science Fell in Love, so I tried to prove it to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. もう目星はついたハミルトンパス問題の応用だどうせリチャードカップの証明のパクリでしょ参考にはしているが完全なオリジナルだ憶測で物事を確定するThese people are really really dressed up for working in a university computer lab And like if this was me I would just be in there with like sweatpants and a hoodie I also feel like in Japan they have a different attire when it comes to school Because I know they have uniforms for most of the schools over there and yeah, I think like uh, American culture is very different when it comes to education. The Hamilton path or cycle is a route that touches each vertex of a shape exactly once. And if you follow the red line here, you see that it goes to each of those yellow balls or each vertex exactly once without repeating itself. In my experience, whenever we use something as a reference, we are going to 100% copy that thing and then just put like in the MLA citation, yeah, this is where I got all that, just a little annotation, be like, this is where I got all the information from, but it's almost always control C, control V. All right, I guess we're they're, they're doing this for real. Okay, uh, this is all right. Like here we go. I don't believe that you can use logic when it comes to emotions. These two clearly do not share that same belief. But if you had to do it one way, this is they're doing they're doing pretty well about it. I wonder. Well, so the, I don't like using pie charts in general because they don't actually account for any overlap. You need a Venn diagram for that. But with with this. How did they come up with the, the time I wanted to smell you? 2.2%. Like, I wonder, like, how, how honest are both these people being in their, you know, I guess, like, data or collecting sample sizes? Because this is very, very specific. This is getting more and more interesting the, the, the more I watch this. Like these two are definitely students of science because they're applying the scientific method to see if they love each other. I mean like this so far the procedure that they've done this in is very correct. I mean you start off with a like question, then you make a hypothesis, then you form an experiment to test your hypothesis, then you analyze the data, and you come to a conclusion. Like they're they're following all the steps, you know, properly. This is really interesting um this uh okay so i tried watching that whole explanation by the science bear but it like I, I like the way they started it and i like the way they ended but everything in the middle with like the rainbow crows and the other i don't know like that kind of confused me more than i understood it maybe if you guys got it from that that video that's cool but i'm gonna try explaining a null hypothesis in a way that i understand but like they're not wrong it's just i just don't like the way that the little teddy bear of science explained it. A null hypothesis is used to determine if you should accept or reject your original hypothesis by removing any sampling or experimental error. Let's say your original hypothesis is that all crows are black, and then your null hypothesis would be, I'm gonna go find one crow that's not black, because that goes against your original hypothesis. And you find like 1,000 crows and 999 are all black, except for one that is white. So that would be the null hypothesis being like, okay, I found one that's not white, but if it's only one out of 1,000, statistically, your original hypothesis saying all crows are black is correct. So your null hypothesis is rejected. And if you reject your null hypothesis, that proves your original. Anabe no 
好きダッシュ氷室ラブ雪村勝つ好きダッシュ金でラブ高橋勝つ好きダッシュ金でラブ X 勝つ好きダッシュ金でラブ Y それこそが Well these guys are well, they made a Venn diagram right so this is really really cool I I don't have anything really that bad to say about it it's just they're Yeah, like they're following the scientific method like exactly as it should be. And now he's going out and he's like collecting other sample sizes of like maybe there's different kinds of love and different people who fall in love. And it's like they're, you know, they're doing everything as you should be doing as a scientist is collecting as many data points and sample sizes of as you possibly can, like control variables and null hypothesis. They're doing everything right. I still don't believe that you can apply logic when it comes to emotions. And I can tell you that this show is doing a really good job at challenging that belief. But when you get two engineers together, like, I mean, I've dated other engineers before. It ain't like this. <laughs> like, definitely, we're not that nerdy, but I will tell you, there have been moments where I've asked this question where it's like, well, how do you define blank? And it's like, man, it reminds me of that dude because I've definitely had my nerd moments in my relationship with other engineers. Like, Well, if you do this, then you can test for that. Like, I, I have thought all these things, but this is kind of crazy watching it, like, happen for real. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if there's any other movies, TV show, or anime you want me to watch, go ahead and put that in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.